right, so did you photograph this vehicle as part of your duties? Yes, I did. All right, so may I publish States 11? You may. All right, just if you'll just kind of walk us through these photos and what you, so uh, what we're looking at in this, States 11. This photo is the rear passenger area showing um, child children's shoes and car seats. All right, were the kids present when you were working the crime scene? No, they were not. States Exhibit 12, please. What is this a photograph of? It's a piece of broken eyeglass that was on the floor of the garage. And how was the glass, the eyeglass broken, if you know? Uh, the opticals or the lenses were located still inside of the vehicle. Uh, just half of the eyeglass was outside, and there is damage to the nose piece uh, of the eyeglass. Potentially consistent with the bullet causing the damage to the glasses? It would be consistent. All right, States Exhibit 13, please. What is this show? This is the optical or the lens of a pair of glasses uh, located on the uh, floorboard of the vehicle in the driver's compartment. States Exhibit 14. What is this? It's going to be a wallet found in the glove box of the vehicle. Was the glove box open or shut when you arrived on scene? It was closed. All right. States Exhibit 15. Did it appear that the box had been rifled through or that any items had been taken from the wallet? No. States Exhibit 16. What does this show? This is going to be uh, the driver's side door window, the driver's door window, uh, with uh, a hole in the glass. Consistent with a bullet hole? Yes, it would be. States Exhibit 17. What does this show? Uh, this is another photograph from a different angle of the same hole in the window that would be consistent with a bullet hole. And did you collect some physical items of evidence from the photographs that we've just looked at? Yes, I did. States Exhibit 115. Do you recognize 115? Yes. What is 115? It's going to be the eyeglass frame that was from the uh, passenger floorboard, the front passenger floorboard in the vehicle. And States Exhibit 116, what is that one? 116 is going to be the other side of the eyeglass frame that was on the garage floor. May I publish? I'm sorry, I'd like to introduce 116 and 117. Yeah, the objection for our defense. No okay. Correction for the record, Your Honor, 115 and 116. States 115 and 116 are admitted at this time. <coughs> recognize 117? Yes. What is that? It's going to be the lens or the optical uh, located on the front driver's floorboard in the vehicle. Right, and we're about 118. 118 is going to be a piece of the other lens or eye optical from the glasses uh, that were on the front driver's seat. Are those in the same or substantially the same condition as when you impounded them? Yes. Judge, I'd move into evidence 117 and 118. Any objection? No objection. States 117 and 118 admitted this time. And then 119, if you could tell us what that is, please. 119 is going to be the wallet and its contents, um, other than the cash that I had to take out, that was located in the glove box. Right, and that item in the same or substantially the same condition as well? Yes. And move into evidence states 119, Your Honor. Any objection? No objection. 119 is admitted. May I publish? You may. And whose driver's license was in the wallet, States Exhibit 119? Daniel Markell. States Exhibit 120. Do you recognize 
this item? Yes, I do. What is this item? It's going to be the actual glass from the driver's uh, door. And how were you able to remove the glass and package it in this way? Uh, due to the glass being broken, I used clear tape and line the entire inside and outside of the glass prior to taking it out so it would stay together. Is it in the same condition as when you impounded it that day? Yes. Judge moving the evidence states 120. Any objection? No objection. States 120 is admitted. May I publish? You may. So which way does it go? This is going to be the inside that you're looking at, and mm -hmm. so, to the so picture like this. Yes, that would be in that reference. Mm States Exhibit 121. Do you know what this item is? Yes. What is that item? This item is a fragment of glass that was taken off of Mr. Markell's face at the hospital. Did you respond to the hospital? Yes, I did. What were your duties at the hospital? Uh, arrived at the hospital to document the condition, collect clothing, swabs, and any evidence uh, from Mr. Markell. All right, and as part of that, did you photograph Mr. Markell in the hospital? Yes, I did. All right, moving to evidence states 22, 23, and 24, Your Honor. Any objection? No objection, Your Honor. States 22, 23, and 24 are admitted. Wait. One moment, please, Your Honor. Okay. Yes, Your Honor, at this time I'd ask to publish states 22. You may. <clears throat> Can you rotate it, please, so that he's out of the way? This was the condition Mr. Markell was in at the hospital? Yes. How long after you arrived at the scene, the crime scene, did, were these photos taken at the hospital, if you know? Uh, the crime scene and I arrived at around 11.30 in the morning, and then these photos would have been taken around 12.30, so an hour later. Okay. And Mr. Markell was still alive at that time? Yes. Please publish states 23. Why did you take this photo? This photo I'm documenting a dark area on his forearm, uh, which is consistent with stippling. And are you referring to this area here in the photo? Yes. And what is stippling? Stippling, stippling is when you're in close contact or close area of a gunshot blast or a gun going off and the gunpowder that is exiting from the gun comes out at a high speed and it will stain or tattoo your skin. All right, so the indication is potentially a close proximity of the muzzle of the firearm at the time of firing. Yes. All right. Publishing States Exhibit 24. Is this a close-up of that stippling that you described? Yes. Right. And once Mr. Markell was pronounced deceased, did you go to the autopsy? No, I did not. I have a couple other photos to show you in reference to your work on this case. This is 18 through 21. Do you recognize these photos? Yes, I do. And what are these photos of? 
These photos were taken at the Tallahassee Police Department. I was requested to document uh, a vehicle there. All right, what type of vehicle was that? It was a 2007 Honda Odyssey van. All right, and was that Wendy Adelson's vehicle? Yes, it was. All right, um, move to introduce 18 through 21, Your Honor. No objection. States 18 through 21 are May I publish? You may. All right. Publish 18, please. All right. This is just the exterior of the vehicle. Yes. Okay. 19, please. All right. Next photo. 20. Was this a receipt from a purchase that was made the day of the homicide? Yes. Okay, and you just photographed that there inside the vehicle? Yes, I did, front passenger seat. All right, and next photo, 21. Is that a close-up of the receipt? Yes, it is. And where was the purchase made? The purchase was made at ABC Fine Wine and Spirits. On what date and time was the purchase made? 7-18 uh, of 2014 at 1249 uh, p.m. Okay. No further questions. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. When you arrived on the scene, it was uh, taped off, correct? Yes, it was. And the tape was approximately five or six properties to either side? Correct. So either side of the residence, right? Yes. Now, going back to Exhibit 20, can, can I put Exhibit 20 on the screen? Oh, show me what button. This is a picture um, that you took? Yes. And it's a picture of bullet wh whiskey, is that right? Uh, bullet rye whiskey, yes. Is there a reason why you took this picture? Uh, I was requested to take a photo of it. Who, who requested you to take it? Uh, investigators that were there with me. And I would have also photographed everything in the in the vehicle. And this came out of Wendy Adelson's car. Yes. Are you aware that Wendy Adelson was invited to a party where she was asked to bring bullet bourbon, bullet no. whiskey? No, I was not. You didn't try to do investigation into that. Uh, I do crime scene. I'm not an investigator. Now, um, going to Exhibit Twenty One. Sorry. <laughs> this is so far away. You can, uh, you can this okay. Going to twenty one, can you can you tell when the um the purchase occurred at ABC? When it occurred? At what time? Um, according to the receipt, it's twelve forty nine and thirteen seconds. Okay, and you see that right under the words regular sale? Yes. I have no further questions, Ron. Right. Okay. 